Good morning, my lovelies. So I am just wrapping Christmas presents. Yes, I'm very organized. I do it very early. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that. Then I'm going to make mushroom soup, I think. Paul got me some mushrooms. And I have one jar of dried mushrooms as well, wild mushrooms. So I'm going to make mushroom soup let me tell you this so remember i was talking to you last time about drinking apple cider vinegar this one i bought two bottles of these I've, i finished one bottle but since that video few of you told me that bragg has sold a company to a big millionaire and i don't trust any huge companies that sell that sort of thing because obviously they are not after our health they are after their own profits so i would imagine that the apples they're using are gmo and god knows what so i don't trust any big companies conglomerates like this to look after my health so i was looking for something more local private you know family company and i found this one this one is here from the uk from kent from the on orchards um, and he says it's with mother as well it's raw and pasteurized unfiltered and undiluted and i love the bottle i already have an idea when i finished it i'm going to do something with this bottle <laughs> so um i might finish that one you know I'm not gonna waste it or oh, I use it for cleaning or something the only thing is in this one you know it's quite cloudy and and when it settles down you can really see the mother whereas this one it looks quite clear I can see like you know those bits floating about in it let me know if you know anything more about this type of apple cider vinegar but yes and and i'm supporting now smaller business as well so i'm going to stick with that i got it over amazon they sell their stuff on amazon mm, i will leave you the link anyway you're gonna love me so i've i've put a few more bits in my living room christmasy bits nothing much but you know um in this light space where I do this white vignette that tall downswept alpine tree that I bought a few years back and I told you they probably they didn't have them I think in that garden center that I bought it from online but I love this tree so much so I had a name, exact name of this tree because I saved it because that's how organized I am. So I had exact name of this tree so I've just put it in Google and searched for it and I found a couple of places that still have them. So the one in my light space is six foot and I, maybe I did find one six foot but they do seven foot as well. I think there was one that did eight foot and even ten. I can't remember but I will leave you the link I, I won't show it to you now so I've, I've bought the seven foot and I put it in my living room in a corner so I will show you that but I show it to you later because I'm too busy now um, and I just bought some light um, and it looks just gorgeous so it looks a bit more Christmassy in my living room now but I will show it to you later right I better get on with my stuff Good morning my lovelies, gym day today, really don't want to go, I'm still aching from my um, last gym session, honestly, every gym day I wake up and I think, mm, maybe I found in sick, <laughs> uh, but once I'm up and about and once I'm there I'm fine. So I thought I'd show you today this tree that I was telling you about yesterday. And so, and I will leave you the links. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, they will be still there. Um, but yeah, I think they are really worth it. 
I would love to have lots of them just scattered around the house to make my house look like woods. So here is the tree I told you about. It's just gorgeous. Let me turn the lights off. See if you can see it better. So it just sits here in a corner. I love it, it's beautiful. Then here on this sideboard, all I did, I've, I had this feather for ages. This one is from uh, the range, but I've just put on these two reindeers, that reindeer and this feather tree. So that's all I have on this side. And here I just have this little tree. <clears throat> I bought it years ago, I think in Next. Just put some lights on it. This um, cabinet is going, I think. You know, I told you I'm not that into this mirrored furniture anymore. And this one was free because I, I bought it from Wayfair. There's my lamp. Uh, I bought it from Wayfair um, for my bedroom. I got two bedside cabinets and one of them, the drawer was broken or something. So they just sent me... Oh no, this is the one that was wrong. The, the actual knobs don't fit properly on a couple of those drawers. I mean, you can't see it. So they told me not to send it back and they just sent me a new one. So this one is basically free. I might keep it. It's more storage, isn't it? Draws. <laughs> Good morning, my lovelies. So today I'm going out to see my friend. Uh, we are going to go for lunch, not to restaurant or anything. It's more like a cafe. So... I'm pretty cash. Let me show you what I'm wearing. First of all, I've got on, is this focusing? I've got on uh, these earrings from Amazon, the dupes for Bottega. Um, this is my favorite Missoma London necklace. Uh, that fun one. I've changed the chain on it because the chain actually that comes with it is nicer. It has little bubbles on it but it's much longer and I wanted it this length so I've just swapped it with that necklace. And this one that I love as well is old from QVC and they never did them again. So, so I'm pretty cash. Um, I am wearing the Lily Silk Cashmere jumper i have just black leggings on these boots i absolutely love them i hope you can see them um so these are like riding boots these are from all saints so the story is when we were in spain i saw very similar pair of boots in massimo Dutti, and i love them they looked almost identical to these but I thought I can't really buy them because of the space in my suitcase and I didn't because you know we bought few things so I didn't want to have excess luggage so I thought I will come home and I order them online but when I went online Massimo Dutti didn't sell those boots online I think they were only available in stores and the nearest store Massimo Dutti store to me is probably hour and a half away and I thought I don't want to drive there and then find that they don't have them so I was very upset but I thought I will live <laughs> and then I found these um, in All Saints and to be honest I'm so pleased because these are so comfortable it almost feels like they have memory foam in them. They are just very soft. Might be they're really thick. So I don't know. But they are just so comfy. And I love the look of them. Um, I don't know what I'm going to wear as an outerwear. I could wear just my puffer coat. 
or I've got um, this really quite old Zara coat sort of Chanel-esque military coat and they are back in fashion so I might wear that let me just show you so this is the Zara coat with these gold buttons I really like it and also it's not too thick so it has that um, what is it boucle type of fabric I really like this coat. I'm so glad I never got rid of it. Uh, it has just one bot button here, fastening. Uh, so I might wear this or, oh, I just wear this puffer coat from Barba. I think I bought it last year or two years ago. It's quite nice because it also has a like a stretchy belt so you can cinch it in because it's quite a casual meetup. We're not going to any nice restaurant you know I feel that I should be quite casual hi my lovelies I thought I'd sit down and have a chat with you today because I've got a few things to share but first I wanted to update you on the polynucleotide treatment remember I had three treatments I think every two weeks I think I started in September and I finished towards the end of October uh, and you're supposed to do that to give it a boost and then you just top it up every six months. Well at the beginning I thought I saw difference, I saw changes but now I see absolutely nothing. So I feel like it was a waste of money but you know I tried those things so you don't have to. And I wonder if it's a bit, because you know, it's supposed to boost your collagen production and make your face firmer and soften your lines. I can't see any difference. In fact, I prefer to keep using my Halo, Zip Halo, because while I was having these treatments, I wasn't using my Halo much at all, maybe like once a week because I didn't want to move the product. Apparently it doesn't interfere with the product, but just in case I didn't. And I've noticed the difference in my face, not using Halo, but just the polynucleotides. So I don't think it works. I know there are different types. Maybe the type that I had doesn't work. I don't know. But if there are any changes, they must be so minute that I can see it. And you know yourself, you examine your face really closely in a mirror and you would notice. Even if other people don't notice, you would. I wonder if it's a bit like with the Profilo. Remember, I had Profilo as well. And yes, for a couple of weeks, my face looked really plumped up and all good. And as soon as I wasn't doing it, it went back to normal. So I wonder if it's a temporary thing, not what they're saying that it's actually going to increase your collagen production. Maybe I should have done it for a year, you know, keep topping it up and then make a judgment. But I'm not prepared, I think, to spend money just to realize that it did nothing. So I am quite disappointed but what can you do? I've tried it, I know now. So I'm just gonna stick with my zip, which again, you have to use all the time. If you stop using that, everything goes back to normal as well. But at least, you know, you pay just one price for the zip and you've got it for the rest of your life. As you know, I haven't had Botox now for about two years. So it's completely gone. And that was a really good time to do this polynucleotides because it would show me in these places where I have Botox, mainly here and here, if there are any changes. And there is no change. In fact, my um, eyes, I know I talk like this so you can never tell, but when I'm relaxed like this and smile, my cross feet and I have almost like a fold here and I said I won't have Botox anymore but I might have it just here because it helps me so much it lifts tiny bit 
because it's not just my hooded eyes but you know they are like downturned and when I have Botox here it sort of slightly lifts them so I don't have that big fold and and the reason is just for my eyeshadows you know I, I love applying eyeshadows and it's so frustrating that I can't do it when my eyes go like this so yes I I don't know let me know if any of you had the polynucleotide treatment and if you had any good results but you know that's the thing once the technology is out there all these companies start making it and then I don't know maybe some are better than others I don't know but I don't see difference significant enough for me to carry on so that was that uh, I will soon do an update as well. Do you remember they have sent me the IPL ha hair removing um, device and I've been doing it. You have to do it for 12 weeks, once a week. So I'm almost at the end of it and then I will review that. Okay, I wanted to show you something. There might be a really nice Christmas present. So from the white company, I bought this box. I've thrown the box away so I can show you. But what we had in there is these three products. The diffuser, little candle and a room spray. And I got the fir tree. So it smells like, smells just like Christmas tree. I love that around Christmas. I still have, I think, half a bath and body wear candle that smells like christmas tree um but what i was really after is this spray but full size but they've sold out of the full size so that's why i bought the little box and now have that in my bathroom downstairs have that here on the table and i spray my tree with it so you know it smells like real tree i, I think it was 35 pounds beautifully presented and they also do different flavors so um, if I, I suppose if you were buying it as a present maybe you wouldn't buy the fir tree but they had some others others as well it's really really lovely quite strong I'm really surprised also I have been sent do you remember I reviewed the commodity fragrances which I love and I've got the book um, but, oh God, I can't open it, but the book I've noticed now is called that, that I think I prefer in the summer. So they've asked me if I would like to receive a Christmas gift and which one I would like and I asked for milk because do you remember milk was my second favorite. So that's another great Christmas present I suppose. So it comes in this box, which is impossible to open. It's got like a sleeve, so, and I don't want to rip up the sleeve, but I will have to. <coughs> there. So you get in here, how big is this? Is it 30 mil? Yeah, you get 30 mil, and I bet this is 10 mil. I can't see but I think these are 10 mil so a handbag size so that is such a beautiful present this one is really nice it's a bit sweeter it's got marshmallow in it so it's a lovely lovely warm um, winter scent woody oh it's gorgeous you see when I was reviewing the commodity fragrances it was summer i think or end of summer and i love this but i preferred the book because it's a bit fresher but now in the winter this is like really warm and cozy i can almost imagine myself like sitting in a lovely cozy blanket by a fireplace oh it's lovely that is going in my handbag and that is going on my neck. Mm, love it. Yeah, so they're doing uh, some Christmas little gifts. So if you were looking for someone or you know someone that loves commodity, then have a look. 
I have to get back to reviewing fragrances. I don't know what happened, but I was doing them almost every week and then, I don't know, I must have gotten busy if I got all about it, but I still have um, some sample boxes that I could review and other things. I was supposed to do the commodity uh, archive collection as well because there is a couple of uh, fragrances that I quite like from there so I will get back to it but you know and you know the last month it's been a bit of a pain in the butt and we've been away and all this so maybe I start after Christmas you know this is very busy time of the year now another thing I wanted to tell you about, this is just from someone that I know. Um, he has this company called Real Spain Retreats and um, these are like fully escorted ex exclusive trips, not huge excursion for lots of people. You can do it just with your husband or wife. Uh, or maybe with a couple of friends if you're celebrating I don't know your anniversary or birthdays so they book everything hotels the hotels are four or five star your flights and you agree with them what you want to do but basically it's not doing the things that you know, you just go to all-inclusive hotel and sit there and don't see the real Spain. It's in the Andalusia area. So I think you fly to Seville um, and they take you, you know, to show you the real Spain, the real gems, real proper Spanish restaurants there. Because, you know, I think like in Malaga, Malaga is beautiful. And I suppose if you wanted to go for a day to Malaga, that can be done as well they chauffeur you everywhere um, and he's like your tour guide basically but if you want to be left alone go to the beach that's fine too um, Malaga is beautiful and the architecture is beautiful but you know it's a bit metropolitan and touristy um, but if you want to experience real Spain and the real Spanish food, this is the way to do it. So uh, they have a website. They're taking bookings now, I think, from next February. Um, I've got a couple of leaflets, but I will leave you their um, they website. So just have a look. Um, Obviously, I haven't done it because my mum lives in Malaga and I go there all the time. He's also bilingual, so he speaks uh, perfect Spanish. He's English, but he speaks perfect Spanish. I've just taken some of these to my gym and I thought, you know what, I might as well tell you uh, about it as well, just in case, you know, sometimes we even wonder like for example our anniversary is coming up in february and we want our 25th year anniversary um wedding anniversary and we are wondering to do something special but you know we can't be too special because we've got louis so we have to go somewhere where we can take louis um, but this would be perfect you know something like this a special birthday and they do three to five nights so um yeah so it's a quite a short break just to experience for a bit the real spain so i will leave you their website have a look at it and see if you might fancy that and the last thing sofa gate update so um i've left you with in last vlog i told you they said that they can give us the money back so Paul went back and said, you know, according to consumer rights, we've got every right within 30 days to get our money back. Uh, he replied, completely ignored the site of consumer rights, said that we have three choices or they will um, repair them on site. I don't know how you repair a um, knife cut um, or they take them away and give us new ones or we can come to the shop and choose different ones. But like I said before, I've lost faith and they've been quite horrible actually, uh, that we don't want anything to do with them again. So um, Paul has reversed the charges now 
thankfully um, I think we paid deposit on on just a normal debit card and then the rest on American Express so we've reversed them both now but we haven't heard anything from the company so I don't know what's going to happen with the sofas because basically it's like we haven't paid for them so they should come and take them away but no one has contacted us yet so I don't know what's happening with that like I said I just want it to be over and done with and forget about it I am wearing oh and I'm wearing my headphones <laughs> I do that all the time because you know when I'm doing things from the house I put a podcast on or something on on my computer and I clean or whatever I'm doing and listening to it and I'm so used to having these on me that I sometimes come on here and forget that I've got this on how ridiculous anyway <laughs> I have bought you know Quite a while ago now, I bought the gold ones, those earrings from Amazon, and I went back and bought the silver ones as well because I have I don't wear silver that much. But if I'm wearing something grey, um, gold looks fine with grey. But sometimes I fancy to wear silver, and I have some silver necklaces, so I got the silver ones as well. On my eyes today, I have Natasha Denona, the nude palette. Is it the nude? I need a nude. I need a nude. Yes, I need a nude. A palette on my lips. I have Los Angeles NYX Los Angeles lip liner and Delilah Whisper lipstick. And this is just a... Um, is it Marina, Marina wool? I don't think so. I think it might be just cotton. I can't remember. From me and M. My nails, you know I say I hate red nails, but I've redone them since. And I don't know if this color comes across on the screen as it does in real life, but this is my favorite red. And how I achieved it is by mixing two reds that I have. So, and this is gel. This is not the ordinary nail polish. So I've used Semilac Go On Fire, which is like a true dark red. And so I put one coat on that and the second coat I put Elegant Raspberry on. And that is my favorite red, really bright, juicy, not too dark, not too orange, just perfect. So I've been wearing my red nails. I usually get used to it. You know, I normally wear that very pale pink and I wear it for months and then when I change it to something darker, it's like, oh, I don't like it. But then I get used to it and then I put my light one on and that looks strange. So it's all a matter of getting used to it. But for Christmas, I think I will keep them red. Okay, my lovelies, I think I will finish this vlog here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.